Hi, in one appointment you have two different ways of selling your services. Basically you can sell it with a one appointment standalone version. Otherwise you can also sell uh, your services with a WooCommerce add-on. So we're just going to book an appointment side by side. One uh, with the one appointment standalone payment and the other one with uh, one appointment with WooCommerce. So let's just try this. Just going to go ahead and select a slot. Same on both hands. We're going to go pay just for that session. We're going to fill out that form. And once we're done, we just hit confirm on both sides. As you can see now, it starts to be slightly different. There, in one appointment, you're ready to the payment page. You can pay later if you want. You can pay with the credit card, or you can pay with uh, PayPal, or any local uh, payment methods uh, that is working with PayPal. Uh, in our case, we're just going to go ahead and pay with uh, Stripe. So we're going to enter those magic numbers that work always on the sandbox, just on the sandbox, not in real life. And that's it. We hit pay, and appointment is booked. Pretty, pretty streamlined. There's no question. You know what you have to do. Boom, boom, boom. Enter your email, your name, credit card, and that's it. Payment is in the box. Now with WooCommerce, slightly different. We have a pay now button. We just hit the pay now. And now we're redirected to WooCommerce checkout page. WooCommerce checkout page that can be slightly challenging. I mean, it's, it's not crazy challenging. But it's a lot of field. We already filled out uh, a few things, you know, uh, in the previous steps of appointment. And now we asked again to, um, to enter, to fill out those fields. And it's not such a great experience for a user. Again, this is the Stripe form. As you can see, same number, magic number, works all the time. Now, uh, in WooCommerce, uh, you can definitely add some more uh, payment methods. Uh, there are tons of them. Uh, for the purpose of the demonstration, we just uh, added Stripe, but uh, there are many providers that work. You just need to check on their websites. Uh, but that's it. Uh, I just wanted to compare the Stripe experience on both cases and uh, see how it looks. And we just place the order and that's it, the order is received. So as you can see now you're on a confirmation page that is slightly different than a standalone. The experience is uh, different. Uh, you still have a summary of uh, what you just bought, coaching one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, you know when the appointment starts, booking starts October 8th, but uh, it's not the best experience. It's good, it's good, but it's not the best experience. Now. Uh, WooCommerce also has its advantage. I mean, it has been there for quite long. So as I said, uh, you can accept many more payment methods. And also you have uh, more advanced tax management. Meaning if you want to set some rules for your taxes, uh, let's say uh, you tax such country and you don't tax such country. Well, you can do that. I mean, there are all sorts of conditions you can put in place. Uh, it's something you need to study, but it's feasible. Uh, also, uh, in WooCommerce, you have a built-in uh, coupon system in place. So you can create coupons for your customers. In appointment standalone version is not yet the case, but it will be at some point, but it's not possible yet. So you have both versions, different pros, different cons. It's up to you.